Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been doing great. In this video, I'm doing a review of the November Date Night Inbox, which was a Give Thanks theme. I'm gonna share with you what my husband and I thought about this date. And then also I have an exciting giveaway to share with you, which is two of you have the chance to win a free date with the December Date Night Inbox. And actually last year is when I started with Date Night In and December was the first box that we received, the first date that we did, and I think it was my husband's favorite. I'll need to verify, but he really liked that one. I'm not sure what's inside the box for December, but um, we really enjoyed last year. So I think that whoever wins is going to have a really nice cozy time with their spouse or significant other with this date night inbox. So to enter into this giveaway, I need you to like this video. I need you to comment below. I'd love to know what is something you're looking forward to doing with your spouse this holiday season. And then finally, and most importantly, I need you to email me right away with your mailing address because we're cutting this giveaway a little bit close, totally my fault, but um, I won't have time really to follow up with you to get your mailing information to get it to date night in so that you can get your box in time. So please email me your mailing address so that as soon as I pick a winner, I'll be able to get that information to date night in and they can get your date on its way. Okay, without further ado, let's talk about November's date. So inside our box, we found our date night in guide. And so we have our different activities listed out here. And so we had a menu, a dinner menu that was optional to do, and it looked really delicious. We decided not to do uh, the menu this time. Then also there was a really neat uh, story in here I'll tell you more about. Um, and then we made ice cream and cider floats. That was fun to make ice cream at home. I'd never uh, done that before. I've seen people do it, but I'd never done it before. And the cider um, mix that they had, which I don't have to show you because we, we used it, it was uh, really good. I enjoyed that cider mix. And then we had a sip and give thanks. And so it was a lot of discussion on gratitude and thankfulness. Just kind of taking in all of that we're feeling in Thanksgiving time. And then there were some ways to continue our date night, some movie suggestions and all of that. So all in all, it was a really thought out date and it really took not a whole lot of prep on our end, which was great because Things are getting a little busy around this time of year. So for the game, it was a pretty fun two-player game, especially if you like word games, which I really like word games. So we had these cards here that were really high quality and something that we can use again and again if we like to play this game again. I won't get into the details of how to play the game. If you're interested in that, they have all of the de details on their website and you can look it up if you're curious. But just know that it was a neat two-player game and something that you can play again and again. Like I said, so it's kind of cool how with these recent dates they've been having games that you can play again and again. So the neat thing about that is that you have kind of a collection of two player games that you can do um, you know whenever you have the time and want to play something. Something else that we had in our box were these sticky notes and it says thank you for. So the activity that they recommended doing with these is that you take pretty much in half and you each fill out these sticky notes with different things that we're thankful to our spouse for and then we hide them in random places for our spouses to find and stumble upon and just be encouraged by. So I thought this was such a neat way to continue the date after the date is finished. You know, this is just kind of fun to stumble on sweet surprises like this at random times. And along those lines, we had this kind of neat little bistro sign that has at the top, I don't know if you can see that, but it says thank you for, and you can personalize it with this marker and have it on display. So this has been fun to kind of look at in our house every day and be able to change out the message of things that we're thankful for for one another. So I put on here getting me because I feel like Ben does a really good job of trying to understand me and gets me so I wanted him to see that message and so it was neat to be able to put that up on display in the house. Something else that we had in our box was this discussion guide which is faith-based, Bible-based discussion guide to kind of take you on a deeper level. Some of the questions and conversation questions that we had suggested for dinner kind of take you deep but this takes you a little bit deeper and um, invites God to kind of come and, and speak to you guys together as you're doing your date. So this is a neat little add-on that you can get with your date night inboxes. If this is a, something that's a priority for you, important to you, and that you would like to have added to your date. We also found this uh, neat little coupon um, if you're into wine. So you can have a um, discount on 
a wine box. So that was kind of neat to have something like that and offer in our box. And then finally, I think the neatest thing that was in our box was this little children's book, um, which kind of threw us off at the start until we read the story in our date guide. So the book is tied to actually a tragic story, but inspiring story of a family who lost a child. And so I'm gonna actually allow for you to kind of look that up more if you want to, but it's the Trip Halstead family and they kind of recorded uh, the journey of what happened to their child. So in honor of this brave family um, who has gone through this journey, they gave this book for us to actually give forward and they have a few ideas of giving it to a family that maybe has foster children or, or donating it to an organization or a church or to a child that this might really bless. So that was a cool tie in to just this time of year and being thankful really for every moment that we have with our loved ones and trying to give a little bit of hope and encouragement to other people. So this was a really neat element and we're still thinking about who we wanna give the book to. We have a couple of ideas. And so um, anyway, I just like that they included that in this box. So all in all, this was a cozy date as well as a thought provoking date. It did get me thinking about what I'm thankful for, especially with my husband and the things that he has that blesses me um, and then I hope that I'm blessing him too. So that is the wrap up on this review and also don't forget that you have a chance to win too if you have the chance to win a December day night inbox. Don't forget to check out the details below in the description box of how to enter and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!